So uh, is uh, that you? That you is not a senator. Uh, he's not a senator. He's not a senator. Is he a senator? He's not a senator. Uh, there are many people. There are many people running around. Your Excellency, the President of the Senate, Your Excellency, the Deputy Senate President, Excellencies, distinguished leaders of the Senate, distinguished senators, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. With gratitude to Almighty Allah, my name is Muhammad Sani Abdullahi, born 26th October 1979 in Kaduna State. I stand before this hallowed chambers profoundly honored and deeply grateful for the privilege to speak in the presence of distinguished members of this Senate, the vanguard of our nation's democracy. With utmost humility and an unwavering sense of duty, I extend my heartfelt gratitude for the nomination for the position of Deputy Governor at the Central Bank of Nigeria. I owe immense gratitude to our revered father, leader, and statesman, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, for his unwavering trust and confidence in presenting my name for this pivotal role. His visionary leadership and steadfast commitment to the prosperity of Nigeria have been a wellspring of inspiration for us all. Should I be confirmed, I pledge to support the governor of the bank and my colleagues to uphold the highest standards and principles as deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Your Excellency, distinguished senators, I'd like to provide a very brief overview of my educational background and experience. My early years in primary and secondary school were spent in Kaduna State, in essence, international school. I completed a bachelor's degree in economics at Amadebello University, Zaria. I proceeded to also complete a master's in international affairs and diplomacy in ABU, Zaria. Subsequently, I completed a master's degree in development economics and policy at the University of Manchester in the United Kingdom. I am currently rounding up a PhD in Henley Business School at the University of Reading. I have two decades of experience in development policy formulation, public finance, and project implementation. I have had a career spanning the private sector, public sector, and international development. My initial specialization was in credit and risk management during my tenure at Ecobank Nigeria, providing me with the foundational skills and experience in finance, risk assessment, and regulatory compliance. Subsequently, as a development economics, economist, I have served as a member of the World Bank Expert Advisory Council and held the position of policy advisor at the office, executive office of the United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon in New York. These roles have allowed me to contribute to global development initiatives and gain valuable insight into the complexities of economic policy at an international level. In Kaduna State, I served as the Commissioner for Economic Planning and Budget, followed by the position of Chief of Staff to the State Governor for over seven years. In these capacities, I played a role in designing, coordinating, and implementing government policies across all sectors. I had the opportunity to lead the Infrastructure Council, overseeing the largest infrastructure expansion in the history of the state, and coordinating the portfolio of economic and social infrastructure across 23 local governments. 
During my time as Commissioner Budget, we formulated economic policies, designed the state fiscal strategy, and coordinated the implementation and monitoring of the state budget. During that time, we also designed the state development plan, established our economic intelligence unit, strengthened data and statistics capabilities, created an infrastructure master plan, industrial policy, and a plan to accelerate achievement of the SDGs. Through my career, I have held several positions of senior economist and economic advisor in the presidency and in the Nigeria Governors Forum, respectively. These roles have allowed me to contribute to shaping economic policy at the national and local level and aligning our objectives with global development priorities. In conclusion, my diverse experience in development policy, banking, public finance, and project implementation have equipped me with the necessary skills and insights to contribute effectively as the Deputy Governor of the Central Bank, if confirmed. I firmly believe that with the dedicated leadership, the unwavering support of the National Assembly, strategic planning, and the resilience of our people, that we can overcome the economic challenges we face as a nation and achieve robust growth and stability. Once again, I thank you, Your Excellency, and distinguished senators for considering my nomination and humbly seek your support and valuable guidance as we embark on this important journey. Thank you for your time and consideration. The distinguished um, 